Okay, let me take you a whole bunch of different directions. Okay. Here. Team USA, under its second interim coach, plays tonight, Thursday night, Mexico, first round of the Nations League tournament. Okay. I'm so excited to watch this because Team USA has its star back in Christian Pulisic from Chelsea. Weston McKinney has come back uh, from the EPL. On the roster are the young guns, Gia Reyna, Ricardo Pepe, Alex Zendejas, the Mexican, is playing for the U.S. side, and Fa Balogan, the kid from France that they just got transferred in, scored 21 goals this past year. They suddenly have all this firepower with Pulisic and McKinney. I'm going to be fascinated to see how quickly it comes and it starts tonight against Mexico uh, in the Nations League. So that's that's topic one there. Um, other topics here. Let's just run through this fairly quickly if I can. I'll try to remember as much as I can. Um, Kai Mbappé, the great star from France, is going to leave Paris Saint-Germain. Oh, wow. He's very upset. Of course, Lionel Messi left a week ago mm -hmm. to come to Miami, MLS. But Mbappe has ripped the fans in Paris and the media for blistering Messi for leaving. Really? Messi was a free agent, was offered a ton in Saudi Arabia, decided not to go. He turned around and he elected uh, not, not to go back to FC Barcelona or Real Madrid. And uh, out of the surprise of, of the year, he's going to MLS in kind of a unique marketing deal. But Mbappe just was furious at the people in Paris, the fans and the media, for how they treated Messi, who's one of the great players mm -hmm. of all time. So that's a big issue. Uh, you asked about Greg Berhalter. This is a surprise. Team USA has started interviewing other people. Oh, wow. Have not interviewed Burhalter yet with the new general manager, Matt Crocker. Burhalter is interviewing, I believe, this weekend in the Netherlands for the team known as Sparta Rotterdam that he played for. Mm -hmm. And he has a second interview, and you're going to have to hit me on the side of the head. <laughs> I'm trying to remember who the second one is with. Uh, but it, it's not in the English Premier League, but there's a second team that he's going to interview with abroad. Uh, so God. because time has gone yeah, and he's been in such limbo since December 31st when the contract expired, he is now looking at these other places. And I get the sense that maybe he's going to take one of these other jobs because Team USA has not moved on them. Yeah. I mean, they're dragging their feet and they're going to lose this opportunity for a coach that the players like and has done a good job on the last World Cup team. But I'm, I'm thinking about the Mbappe situation. It's interesting because as fans, sometimes we kind of go a little overboard and we think that those players are our players. And how could you be a traitor and go to that other team or that other league? You know, we get angry when they leave us um, like a scorned, you know, boyfriend when their girlfriend dumps them. So uh, it, it's so emotional. And especially in Europe with soccer, it's probably over the top. It's their sport, plain and simple. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd be disappointed if Burhalter gets away. Um, I just, I mean, you listen to what Pulisic said a week ago when their training camp opened for the Nations League tournaments. He said, we are here. We are excited. We have had success. We have grown because of him. Exactly. So that's where we are. That's the latest uh, in our soccer notebook. And we'll see what happens. Team USA against Mexico. Are you ready? 